this is the most efficient way to get dissolved oxygen into your hydroponic system. So over the years, we've tried a lot of different ways to get our oxygen levels in our water high. Now we used to use this hose system, but we spend about two to 400 bucks a month keeping the hoses replaced to keep the system operating at a premium level. The hoses got clogged and there was really no way we could get them cleaned out. We used this really expensive regenerative air blower that just made a lot of noise and frankly, it was expensive to run. It was failing to keep our dissolved oxygen above six where we wanted it to be. We're shooting for about 18 to 20 optimally. So we invested 12,500 bucks in this enrichment system nano bubbler. And it worked great for a while, but then it broke down. So now for two months, I've had a broken down oxygen system in the back of my greenhouse, a $12,500 paperweight that I can't seem to get any help fixing. So out of desperation, we took matters into our own hands. We knew that there had to be a way to do this that was affordable and didn't use a lot of electricity. The nano bubbler and the regenerative air blower both pulled a lot of amps. A friend of ours had been working on a variant of the Spice cone. So we started prototyping hardcore and refining it. We built over a dozen prototypes, including this clear variant to help us visualize what was going on and get all the flow rates fine-tuned. Air gap at the top of the three. So let me introduce you to the Greenies air cone. You can buy these on our website. There's different kits available. The link is in the description. But how it works is this pump that we've always had running, circulating water in these two ponds, it's still doing the exact same job. But before the water goes out, it runs up this air cone, and here it gets pure oxygen pulled into it. Now this is one of the final prototypes, so it's very close to the production version, but not quite. And then the air comes down here, the air, the oxygen and water is coming down here. And right here, the water is going faster than air bubbles rise. So it's keeping the oxygen down. And then the water flows through this very, very turbulent area that breaks the bubbles, the bigger bubbles into smaller bubbles, breaks it down. And then down here where the diameter gets bigger, the water is going slower than the air bubbles rise. So the oxygen is floating. So you have the pure oxygen locked in this very turbulent area and is just getting dissolved into the water. This is another prototype here. You can see it looks a little different, but when I first got this thing going, I didn't know what I was doing and I just ran it wide open for about a week. And in this, this side of the greenhouse, my dissolved oxygen got up to 46 and I nipped my sage and all my young lettuce because, well, I guess it worked too well. I'll tell you just a little bit what it's done for us. There'll be videos um, coming up, like why is oxygen so good? Um, all this other stuff, all the benefits we've seen, but this is actually our backup machine. We are, we're scared if, what if our oxygen concentrator goes down and we go back to growing like we were a few months ago? the improvements are just so incredible we, we do not want to give them up um i mean just look at these roots i mean pick any any crop the roots are just incredible so massive yield boosts great health in the plant and so this is what comes in the standard kit um it's a pretty flexible system but basically the water comes up here we pull in pure oxygen through this venturi and we set how much suction we have on the Venturi here. There's documentation on how to operate all this um, included in the kit. The water and oxygen continue up. We have this gooseneck at the top. So this is how you connect the two parts together. And this is flexible as well. You know, if, um, if you want to run this part horizontally into this that sits vertically, you know, you can cut it here um, and then the water and oxygen come into this part. Uh, once again, in the documentation, um, how to run the breather, how to set all this, and then it comes out here. Um, if you have it set up, if you have it set up like I do, um, you have your main line running here, you'll elbow up into it, and then 
just cut a little section out of your main line and then continue on here. Also, you can purchase this from us and the settings and everything will be included in the documentation and the packaging. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you next time.